What's up, Technoba here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Ultimate Phishing. Ultimate Phishing is a simple plugin that adds custom loot, fish rarities, and the ability to sell your catches. The Ultimate plugins install a little differently to the usual. Head over to the Songoda page, click the download button right under the projects icon on the left. Then head over to the file section on your Server Pro dashboard, open the plugins folder, then click the upload button and upload the .jar that we just downloaded from Songoda. Then all we have to do is a simple server restart. Keep in mind that the plugin also requires the Vault plugin for economy support to work. On top of that, you'll also want an economy plugin of your choice. I'll be using Sane Economy. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the Install tab under Plugins. After installing the plugin, it should work right away with little to no setup required. The plugin's main command is slash uf. This brings up a list of commands that we can refer to if we need help. Slash uf sell brings up the shop UI where we can sell fish that we catch, and slash uf sell all sells every fish in our inventory automatically. Let's quickly catch a fish. Great, we got one. Let's use slash bal to check our current balance. Slash uf sell and then placing the fish in the UI and clicking sell gives us our money for our fish. Now using slash bell once again, we see that we have some money after selling it. Let's use slash uf bait shop. I'll buy a bait. Then opening up my inventory, I'll pick up the bait we just bought and place it on my rod by simply clicking on it. Using bait raises our chance of casting a critical cast, which means that we'll catch more than just one fish in one go. We can adjust these in the config later. Using it, we may have a good cast that gives us multiple fish. Slash UF leaderboard brings up the server's fishing leaderboard. Hovering over player heads shows us some information on the players. Then we have some admin commands. Slash UF give followed by a player, bait, and a number will give a player a specific bait. Slash UF reset player followed by a player's name resets a player's fishing stats. And slash UF settings brings up a useful GUI where we can adjust almost every setting that this plugin has. We will of course see these again in the next section where we go through the config files. And assuming you edit the config files, we'll need to use slash UF reload to reload the settings from the plugins folder. So let's try it. Using slash UF settings, it brings up a GUI. Then we can click on config and then main. Hovering over each item in here gives us some information about the setting in the item's lower section. Clicking their critical cast chance, for example, hides the UI and asks us to enter a number in chat. I'll enter 100. Now we'll have a guaranteed critical cast the next time we do. Casting again, you'll see a particle effect in front of us. After something bites, reeling it in, we should have multiple fish being added to our inventory. Using slash uf sell all sells every fish right away without the UI showing up. Locate the config in the plugin folder. As with the other ultimate plugins, the settings files are incredibly well documented and easy to understand. While almost all the settings can and should be adjusted in-game using the GUI, we can adjust them in the plugins folder as well. The locales folder has a number of .lang files, which are just text files containing some localization for the plugin. If you'd like to adjust how the plugin talks to players, do that in here. The lootables folder contains one file, normal.json. .json files are just like YML files, but are laid out slightly differently. In here, we can adjust the chances and types of fish that can be caught. Going back a folder, bait.yml contains each bait that is available in the plugin's bait shop, as well as what each bait does to you when you use it. We can adjust the chance for a bonus fish, critical cast, the material it appears as, the number of uses it has, as well as the color and the price in the shop. Rarity.yml contains a list of settings for the rarity of catching normal, large, or huge fish. We can adjust the sell price to be more or less, as well as the chance of reeling in these special fish. For the huge fish, we can also set it up to broadcast and chat to all players when someone catches one of these. UltimateFishing.db contains all the player stats and more for the plugin. This file shouldn't be edited at all. Then finally, we have the config.yml file. In here, we can adjust the default critical chance, cooldowns, and whether sounds play or not. We can adjust what happens when the bait is applied to a rod 
and even change what economy plugin should be used. Leaving this as just Vault should be good enough, assuming you are using Vault. Then we have AFK Challenges. AFK Challenges are started when the player casts a certain number of times without moving. After an AFK challenge is started, a random mob from the list will be spawned near the player. This prevents players fishing while not actually playing the game. Of course, if you don't want this to be enabled on your server, you can toggle challenges from true to false. After changing settings, make sure that we use slash uf reload to reload the settings from the config file. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.